Good morning, Journey Church. Uh, how are we doing this morning? Uh, good morning, family. Good morning, friends. Uh, we're going to get started here in a couple minutes with a short Devo and uh, some prayer. So, um, so as you hop on the uh, hop on the stream here, I uh, just wanted to wish you uh, good morning and uh, pray you're having a great day. So, as you come in here, inviting you into my home, I'm doing uh, doing this um doing this uh video from my home so uh as we would as you come to someone's home and for real so i would invite you to come in sit down in the living room um but what do we do when we when we come into someone's living room we uh we say hey so um uh give me a comment uh maybe in there uh say hi good morning how you doing um uh, my dad used to always uh, wink at me and uh, and that, you know, I would warm my heart. And so uh, give me a, maybe give me a thumbs up. There might even be a, an a emote icon with a winky. So give me a, give me a thumbs up or a, a wink and uh, you know, that'll warm my heart and that'll, that'll help us uh, get going and get together here. So, um, so we'll uh, wait about maybe 30 more seconds and uh, let some people get in the room and then we'll get started uh, on the, uh, on the Devo in prayer. So um, love you guys so much. Uh, um, it's funny about these, um, about these times that we live in. Um, we're gathering together here. Um, and the thing that, that uh, we've been saying in the staff team, and I'd always just kind of been on my heart, it's same heart, new tools. Uh, so tools like this where we can come and we can get together uh, every day um, are amazing. So, um, so we're going to get to, get going together here. Um, all right. Okay. Uh, I am uh, Steve Miller. I'm the pastor of the Dream Center at uh, Journey Church. So thank you so much for joining. And uh, we're going to jump in here. First of all, uh, happy April Fool's Day. Um, so I was thinking about that. Um, the, when we put the schedule for this together, I'm like, the pastor Jesse put me on April Fool's Day on purpose. <laughs> jokes on you <laughs> anyway so uh take time to laugh today um so um pray you all are having a great day we're gonna jump right in here um so there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in our world right and uh to me the hardest part and i think it's the hardest part for a lot of people is the unknown right um because there's a lot of there's a lot of us that like we like a schedule set we like closure um, you know, like we like there to be completeness to things. And right now in our world, right, we don't know um, when our, your kids are at home with you or maybe you're home from work and we don't know when that's going to end. When are when are they going to uh, when are our kids going to be back at school? When am I going to be back into my in my place of work? When am I going to be able to go to church again and hug someone's neck or shake their hand and get together in uh in fellowship um so we don't know that and so that's that's a hard part right the unknown um and uh you know i'm on the i'm on the school board at silex and uh like all of our area schools our kids are are not there and they're you know we're doing some virtual learning and stuff but you know it's just it's not the same as when we can assemble together and we don't know we don't know uh, a lot of things and those unknowns, they just, they rack us, right? They, 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 uh, they, they, they just make churn in our, in our spirit and our heart and our life. And, and we want, we want some, um, we want some, some closure, some completeness. So um, there's that unknown there. And so today we're going to talk about identity and what our identity is in and how we claim that. And too many times our identity is claimed in things that we know, things that are set. And, um, and, and, and that's not really the, the place to put it. And so I'm going to intro into this with, um, uh, y'all are familiar with the, uh, the Kendrick brothers. They make uh, pretty amazing Christian movies. Uh, some of them are a little cheesy, but I cried every one of them. So there's a new one out called Overcomer. So Alex Kendrick, the guy who's the main actor in, in all of those movies, he is uh, at the hospital and he's visiting another man. He had been there to visit him before and he's come back. 
And so, and he's struggling. And so the guy at the hospital is actually kind of consoling him. And uh, he said, last time you were here, you said you would pray for me, did you? And he was like, uh, no. And he was like, who are you? And so they, they start digging into this identity conversation. And that's really what struck me. Um, and he said, well, I'm a basketball coach. Well, that, okay, that was taken away from you. Then what are you? Then I'm a father, then I'm a husband, then I'm a teacher. And it was six or seven down the line before he got to Christian. And, and the guy in the hospital bed was like, well, is it really that important to you? And he was like, oh yeah, absolutely. I'm a Christian. I'm a, and he's like, well, maybe it's not that important to you. And so that's just what I want to just dig into a little bit today is that, you know, we are, we are Christians. We are Christ followers. We have him in our life. But is he really what our identity is in? Is he really at the center of who we are and what we claim to be? Um, and so I'm going to share some scripture here with you. Um, and, 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 we do, and we talk about this at the Dream Center with the guys a lot um, because they come in struggling and hurt and lost. Um, and, you know, and we as a church, we know better, right? And so uh, we should not be lost. We should not be struggling. But too often we put our identity in these things around us, our world, our work, um, if I can go to the grocery store or not, do I have toilet paper for goodness sake? Uh, not saying any of us are doing that, but there's a lot of people in our world that are, you know, they're, they're struggling. And so I'm just going to walk through a couple things here um, about identity and the things that we should claim. So there was a sheet that we handed out in uh, church a while back as part of one of Pastor Jesse's messages, talked about a blessed mindset. And there's three categories here of, of verses that go under. I'm accepted. I'm secure and I'm significant. Those are all things that we should be claiming. Those are all things that we should be claiming because those are the promises of God that we stand on. And then I have another sheet here. It's called my identity in Jesus. And there's all kinds of character, uh, all kinds of um, descriptions here. And I'll go through a few and I'm going to read you three specific verses that jumped out at me. We're washed clean. We're forgiven. We're free. We're adopted into God's family. We're co-heirs. We're righteous. We're ambassador. We're never alone. We're wonderfully made. Okay, three verses um, that I'm going to give to you here. Delighted in. This is, comes from Jeff, Zephaniah 317. Say that three times fast. Zephaniah. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but he will rejoice over you with singing. Mm, isn't that so good? That your God loves you so much. He's going to rejoice over you with singing. Boy, is it me or is it getting dusty in here? Whew. You are guaranteed victory. Psalms 1835. You have given me your shield of victory. Your right hand sustains me. You stoop down to make me great. Now, that doesn't mean every day is going to be sunshine and rainbows. Not every day is going to be the best day you've ever had. But he guarantees you victory in the things in his promises. So claim that. And finally, I love, love, love this one. And we talk about this again uh, at the Dream Center with our guys because they come in broken down and they have, you know, bad images of themselves because they, they have done wrong or they wouldn't be here with us. But this is something that we all have to claim from God, that we are his masterpiece. Ephesians 2.10, for we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do good things that he has planned for us long ago. Church, God has a plan, a purpose, a vision, a dream for your life. You know, many of you may know it, many of you may not know it. So I just challenge you today um, to walk into this identity that he has for you. It's amazing. The promises of God are true. They're unchanging and they're for you. All we got to do is claim them. All right. So as we talk about identity, if you allow me, I'm going to just take a couple minutes and um, give you a personal story, all right? Um, I worked at Journey Church for two years, uh, and then there was a period of two years where I was not at Journey Church, and that was a really tough time for me personally. I have never been without a job, um, and my job was always very critical, very central to who I was, probably, well, not probably, absolutely too much so, right? I'm a, I'm a farm kid, was raised on a farm. I love that identity. I'm a graduate of the University of Missouri Journalism School. Very proud of that. 
I worked in corporate communications for the state of Missouri and the Boeing company for 20 years. That was who I was, right? What do we do when we meet somebody? What's your name? What do you do? Um, and there's nothing wrong with those things. But when we make those things so central, so critical, so core of who we are and what we do, um, then we then we get things out of whack. Um, so there's during this two years where God just was peeling stuff off of me, right? Peeling stuff, peeling stuff, peeling stuff off of me. And he showed me that my identity was not necessarily even who my parents were or where I went to school or who my friends were or what my job was, um, that my identity was in him. And I needed to claim that above everything else. And I'll tell you, there were times um, during those two years where I would I would avoid people um, because I did not want someone to ask me what I did. I did not want someone to find out I didn't have work. I didn't want to say I was unemployed. And maybe that's you today. Maybe you're unemployed right now, or maybe you see that in your future with all this crazy uncertainty we have in a world. So church, I, I just, uh, I challenge you, do not hang on to that. Do not make that joblessness or maybe you don't have a job that you're crazy about. Um, don't make that your identity. Claim what God has for you. Walk into that um, with joy, with boldness. Um, put him in the place that he deserves, his rightful place, and you will have joy. You will have peace um, today. Um, even as you're chasing your crazy kids around the house, or you're uh, struggling with, uh, you know, that, that latest Zoom call or meeting at work. Um, you need what he has for you. And so I just, uh, we just love you so much, church. We just thank you for who you are. I thank you for being on here today um, for this little Devo about identity. I pray um, that, uh, that it's blessed your heart. Um, so um, looking through uh, some of the comments here, not seeing a whole lot of uh, specific prayer requests. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, pray us out and uh, we'll wrap up here. Pray with me. Father God, Lord, we love you so much. Lord, um, your promises are true. God, they're true from everlasting to everlasting, from the beginning of time to the end of time. And so God, just pray um, that you would just uh, give us boldness, God. You would give us courage, God. You would give us uh, just a willingness, Lord, to walk in to claim what you have, uh, claim what you're doing for us, claim what that I am your masterpiece, that I am empowered, that I am emboldened, that I am whole in you, that I have a secure future. God, help all of us uh, to claim that today. I pray for any prayer requests, spoken or unspoken, that we're on this that we're on this Devo this morning. I pray for everyone on this call. I pray for everyone that might watch the video later. Lord, I pray for our world. Uh, it's uncertain. And it's unclear and it's unknown. And it's a little scary right now. But if we claim, if we come to you and we claim you and we stand firm in what you have for us and that identity you have for us, Lord, we uh, just help us to love you. Just help us to praise you. Whether it was our worst day or our best, of our, our worst day or our best day, God, because you're worthy of it. We love you. We claim victory in all these things through the precious blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, church. Love you so much. Thanks for jumping on here. Uh, sorry it took maybe Brian a little longer than uh, I intended, but um, just wanted to share my heart with you. Pray you have a great Wednesday, April the 1st. Happy April Fool's Day. Don't forget to laugh today. Have some fun. Play some jokes on some coworkers. Trick the kids. Uh, make it a great day. Love you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.